Hello, my name is Ash, aka I Dream of Earth, and this is a perfect yoga flow for you to do if you don't feel like doing yoga. And a lot of times, I encourage you to discern the difference between you not wanting to do yoga and feeling resistant towards yoga. And not wanting to do yoga usually means that your body's just tired and you've had enough. But having resistance towards yoga is when your mind kind of takes over your body and you know you want to do something, right? Like you might feel like tight and you've been saying over and over again, oh, I need to do yoga or I'd like to start practicing yoga, but you don't actually do it. And this resistance is caused by our body knowing that we're going to do something good for ourselves. And when we do something good for ourselves, it actually expands us and it kind of takes us out of our comfort zone a little bit. So when we're outside of our comfort zone, it's almost like a fish out of water. We're like, oh my gosh, what is this world? What can I do? Like, who am I? You know, when we start asking ourselves these big deep questions. So I encourage you, if you are feeling a little resistant, just pop this video on anytime. It's not going to be a big thing. Just like, enjoy it take it for what it is and that's it so we're going to start in downward facing dog and first before we even do that just take your palms and put your fingertips facing your knees perfect and yeah go ahead and just like gently rock back and forth opening up your wrists a lot of times we're you know typing on our phone and um and it just like causes a lot of tension in our wrists. So this is a really great practice. You can do anytime in or out of yoga, anytime you just need like a little break. Um, if you know you've been doing the thing, doing all the things, getting your, getting your goals, it's good. Keep it up, but just make sure to also take a moment to breathe and rest. And as you're here, hmm, eyes might begin to gently close or not. It's up to you. And you continue rocking back and forth. Just feeling into the present moment, whatever that means to you. Mm, go ahead, take one more big breath here. Mm -hmm. Exhale, go ahead, flip your wrists, facing the front of your mat. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Nice big stretch here, relax your neck so your gaze is in between your knees. And take nice big breath in and out through your mouth. Just release any stagnant energy, oxygenating your body. Feeling into the present moment. Inhale, go forward. Hold your plank for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down to your knees. Bend in your elbows. Bring your chest and your chin to your mat so your booty is still up in the air. Go ahead, inhale, rise. Mm, nice big breath here. Mm, exhale, go ahead, peep over your right shoulder. Mm, nice stretch in your neck and in your core. Big breath in. Mm, exhale, peep over your left shoulder. Again, inhale, nice big stretch through your neck. Mm, exhale, go ahead, bend your knees, come back into child's pose. Release your breath. Inhale, mm, exhale, relax completely in this posture. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Mm, exhale. Ah, 
Uh, maybe make some noise. The purpose of this practice is really to release any stagnant energy. So the deeper you breathe, the more refreshed you will feel afterwards. Go ahead now, inhale, come up onto your tippy fingers. Peel yourself forward, back up to cobra. And exhale back down, we're facing dog. Inhale, go ahead, lift your right leg up to the sky. Go ahead and keep it at bent at a 90 degree angle. And breathe here, nice big breath in and out. One more time, big breath in and out. On your next breath in, go ahead, inhale, knee comes towards your chest. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knee to your right wrist, coming forward into pigeon. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale, release forward as deeply as you'd like to. Maybe making a pillow with your arms. Continuing to breathe deeply in and out. Again, in and out. One more time, big breath in and out. On your next breath in, go ahead, slowly walk your hands back up. And take a slight back bend. And exhale, go ahead, press your palms into your mat. Tuck your back toes and step back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale forwards. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale back down, we're facing up. Inhale, left leg rises up, keeping that knee nice and bent. Big breath in, stretching your right hamstring. Big breath out, release deeply into the earth. One more big breath in. And deep breath out. On your next breath in, go ahead, bring your knee towards your chest. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring your knee to your left wrist, coming forward into pigeon. Inhale, heart opens. And exhale, release down. Again, you're making a nice pillow with your forearms or your head to rest. If that is available in your practice today. Keep breathing deeply, inhale. And exhale. One more big breath in. And big breath out. On your next inhale, slowly rise. And exhale. Go ahead. Tuck your back toes, rise back down, facing dog. Inhale forwards. Exhale down. Inhale up. 
exhale back, downward facing dog. Hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come forward onto your knees, coming back into child's pose. Resting for a moment here before we finish out our practice. Coming back to why, why you want to practice yoga in the first place. What initially inspired you? Maybe it looked fun or you know somebody that started and is raving about it. Maybe you want to feel more healthy or show yourself a little bit more love. Whatever the reason, keep that, keep that reason in your heart. You remind yourself whenever you feel the resistance. Breath in slowly, slowly, slowly walk your hands up to your hips, allowing your spine to rise up. And inhale, arms lift up to the sky. And exhale, hands come down to prayer in the heart center. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I'm so grateful for your presence. Ah, sending you so much love and blessings your way. Namaste.